The government of Greece faced its moment of truth tonight after a week of high drama. Parliament proceeded with a confidence vote on Prime Minister George Papandreou. Members of Papandreou's own Socialist Party revolted after he called for a referendum on a new European bailout. The plan outraged European leaders, and yesterday Papandreou backed down. The Greek leader told lawmakers tonight that he would agree to form a national unity government that includes the opposition. While the world watched the turmoil in Greece, the G20 economic summit ended in France with no agreement. The world's leading economies balked at giving financial help to contain the European debt crisis. We have a report from Laura Kusenberg of Independent Television News in Cannes. I'm not going to pretend that all of the problems in the Eurozone have been fixed. Make no mistake, there is more hard work ahead. Step by step. The French host almost admitting they didn't get that far. They themselves had set this as the deadline to stop Europe being dragged down by debt. But the UK, US and China believe Germany's Mrs Merkel and other Eurozone leaders have to put more of their cash on the line. She was not to be persuaded. That is Why? To be, to ITV be News asked a frustrated David Cameron. Well, you, you have to ask the Germans, but the, the point is, in the end, and it says this very clearly in the communique from today, that the institutions of the Eurozone have to take all the action necessary uh, to safeguard their currency. Angela Merkel left the meeting early after a clash over a bigger role in the bailout for the International Monetary Fund. She admitted hardly any other countries have signed up to help. But the normal rush to see the details of the final deal disappointed. World leaders have been locked in here.